Hey, Cancers. Welcome to Sag and Sun. Let's see what's going on for y'all today. Excuse me. If you guys are dealing with a Capricorn, you might want to go watch their reading. All right, Spirit, what's going on for my Cancer Collective? Please and thank you. Or Cross Watcher. Flip the energy. If it's not you, it's somebody else. Okay. Spirit. What's going on here? I need to give me some new decks. All right. Oh, see, this card came out in Capricorn's reading, too. And Capricorn is the opposite of Cancer in their lower vibrations. So, it's safe for you to love now. Shit. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. All right, what else, spirit? Mm -hmm. That's a lot, but let's, I swear, the same card. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Express your love. Give this relationship a chance. And chemistry. 111 on the phone because Capricorn had an empress that they was watching from afar. And they were like, oh no, this person gonna do this, this person gonna do that. Spirit say it's safe, bruh. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Express your love. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And Spirit says give the relationship a chance. Work on the partnership. Okay. Now, like I told Capricorn, y'all some lucky motherfuckers, cause baby, if they and that should go at the bottom of the deck, cause keep an open mind, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. That could be what's keeping this person stuck. It could be something different, but man, people let the smallest shit keep their caught up in some bullshit you feel me because there's something different about the person yeah look at him y'all look at this this man eyeballs glue could be a woman again take how it resonate but if i'm going off the car this man right here is glue looking at everything judging this person's judgmental as fuck they need to lighten up what they need to do they need to relax he look like a damn judge in that damn outfit. If he ain't no judge, he very judgmental. Shit. There's angels above this person. Tell like, even the angel tired. Like, bro, my arm is tired. My wings is tired. I've been flying over here trying to tell you this the one. But you ain't listening. The damn angel done talked to the angels. It's blue in the face. They could be gay. He got his damn legs crossed. Or he just comfortable where he at. Somebody got some long ass arms or some long ass fingers. And her fingers long as fuck. <laughs> I would not want to get slapped by them hands, baby. Now, let's get into it. And that knees is ashy. Hey man, no, he needs some lotion on the legs. <laughs> Yo, what is going on? Anyway. <clears throat> I see an urn. Someone may have passed away here. Mm -hmm, that's an urn. I see one of the floor model TVs. So somebody is they they got outdated beliefs. Cause who the fuck still got a floor model TV? Probably your grandma and them. And they probably don't for real, but you know. That's just telling me somebody got some outdated belief. That's why the card say keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. And he got on a damn turtleneck, y'all. What in the fuck? This better be part of a uniform. This motherfucker got on a turtleneck.
with the butterfly collar. Maybe somebody was born in the 70s or. Because when the butterfly collars back, out back then. Mm. Let me start talking about y'all person. Spirit, what's going on? The man with the ash and knees. Yeah, ten of wands. The only time the ten of wands come out is when you're being burdened. Somebody's burdened. But some of these people, they keep walking into this four of wands, which is a home. Or this could be symbolic to a relationship or a marriage. But it's the ten of wands. It's burdensome. And because somebody's not being true with they, they're not being authentic. Okay? Because they got all day to believe. This could be somebody who, they could be in a whole marriage and they don't believe in divorce, but they in love with somebody else type shit. Somebody could have blonde hair and some big ass feet. Some motherfucker got some big ass feet, baby. I would not want to be slapped with these long ass fingers and I would not want to be kicked with these big ass feet. Now, let's keep going. Spirit, what is going on for cancer? Five of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. So, I do feel someone's going to move on. It's right here. I'm not sure if it's because there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Spirit is saying, give the relationship a chance. It is it's safe to love this person. It's time to take back control of your life and you need to keep an open mind. I don't know if it's the person that's in the Ten of Wands because the Ten is the end. And where there's an ending, there's a brand new beginning. So it may be the person because somebody's going to leave something out in the cold or with this Five of Pentacles. This Page of Pentacles is it's discovery. It's, it's all about learning something new. And I feel like this is what this person's being guided to do. Allow something new in. This stained glass window is giving me religious. Somebody could have some religious beliefs that keeps them stuck in something that ain't no good for them. Or it keeps them from walking into something that's good for them. But because it keep, it's different. So what? My God. Again, somebody finna move. Somebody could physically be moving. Somebody's physically moving here. Could be a woman and a child. Yep, three of cups in the reverse. Somebody's not gonna wait for this anymore. The three of cups in the upright, that's celebratory energy. Could even be a reconciliation. Some, I'm telling you, Cass, I don't know who you are in the situation. I do know I see somebody moving on like fuck this shit. Okay. Look, look. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo with the strength card right there. <coughs> now, somebody's restraining themselves from someone where there's unconditional love. That don't make sense. Nowhere does that make sense to me. Fuck what you think your friend's gonna say. But what you think your family gonna say? Because somebody ain't happy. Ten of Wands to the Five of Pentacles. They overworking the situation. Why? It's, this is crazy. Somebody's dealing with something that they're having to overwork. When they could go somewhere else and it'd be real. Or, because the Ten of Wands is having to do it all by yourself. Maybe they're not in a relationship with anybody. They're just stuck in their head. Like, this can't be my person. Maybe they um, too tall, too short, too light, too dark. I don't know what it is. It's stupid at the end of the day because it's real chemistry here. It's a, a strong magnetic attraction. And spirits say get a relationship a chance. Work on the partnership. People need to know how to communicate. You need to know how to talk. Ain't nobody finna try to read your mind. Even if they could, that's bullshit. Who wants to do that? Who wants to try to figure out how you feel and what you want? Somebody need to talk. Spirit say, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This could be as simple as, hey, let's go get a coffee. Let's go for a walk. Let's go hang out. Let's go do something. 
because watching from afar, they are never going to get all of the answers. Just when they think they know something, something new going to happen. And for a lot of them, that's being done on purpose because spirit is telling this person to six of swords, like they need to move somebody comfortable. That means they've been, they probably been sitting there watching your ass for a long ass time. And the way he, he <laughs> this could be a girl too, y'all. But the way he pulling in, looking at every fucking thing that's going on, this shit crazy, but I'm telling you. This person is very stubborn, very hard-headed, and I hope they miss out. I do. People like this, sometimes you be like, man. And then, you know, they probably got people around them that's like, man, if that was me, I would have been dead, this, been dead. But they ain't doing shit. And that's how it be. Shit be happening to the people that be scared to do anything. And the people that actually want those opportunities or want those chances, they don't never get them. So anyway, Cancer, if this is you, I'm going to tell you something I told uh, Capricorn. You have to go within yourself and ask yourself, self, what do you want? But then this person, they might have Virgo in their chart or some type of air sign because they get, they get to talk to the self. Self, what you want? And then they self-talk back, well, I want this, but you said you didn't want this. Well, but they do this, and I don't like that, so can I deal with this? Like, what the fuck, bro? This motherfucker be having a whole conversation in their head, ain't this shit. I ain't made no decision. But you know what? Choosing not to move forward is also a decision. So like I said, I see somebody moving forward, and there really may not be a reconciliation here. Or there may not be a chance to three of cups. Because somebody moving on. Somebody's going to find this, Okay. For some of y'all, someone's going to find this out. Because like I said, the Page of Pentacles, that's discovery. That's new information coming about. It could be right when this person's getting, like, they want to make a move. And then they find, it's kind of like going to work one day. Say for, it's, it, this, maybe you work with this person, right? And all of a sudden, they're able to watch you from across the room at work. And... They go to work one day and your ass ain't there. And they ask him for, hmm, have you seen Laura today? And like, oh, yeah, Laura accepted a job in California. Wow. And maybe I was in damn Alabama some damn well. Because I'm telling you, I see Six of Swords. I'm, Spirit, what's this Six of Swords right here? Yep, yeah, temperance, queen of wands, two of wands, two of cups. Ooh, shit. And lovers with the strength card again. For some of y'all, this person, okay, because again, like I said, I don't know who is who. But whoever this is that's moving, they're going towards a relationship. Some of y'all could be dealing with Sagittarius with the temperance and the queen of wands. But temperance, queen of wands, two of wands, two of cups. Strength and lovers. Somebody's choosing another direction. It's right there. So, Cancer, if you are the... And you know what I got for y'all last... Show did. I showed... Y'all go watch our last week's reading. I said, Cancer, somebody was... Um, they was pulling on you energetically, but they wasn't doing that. Just like this man is right here. And... Some of y'all had fucked around and got into a new relationship. It was it was going to marry that person. And I see two of cups. There's two people offering the same thing. Versus this person just sitting there waiting. Not doing anything. Y'all go watch our last week read. Wow. And that's what I see right here again. So I'm going to tell you, Cancer, you know. If you got your eye on somebody. That you really want to give an opportunity to, do you need to do that? Or you're gonna fuck around and miss out. Yep, there's competition. Five of Wands. I can't make it up. There is competition here. I don't know. For some of you, this person's moving, or they may get a job offer. There's something. There's something right there. Because with the Eight of Wands, it could be a lot of people interest, interested in the same person that you're interested in. 
but you have the opportunity to do something. There you go, Cancer Chariot. You have the opportunity right now to do something because Spirit say, express your love. There's a strong magnetic attraction there, but you can't, what they say, don't rest on your lords. You can't just, because this could be somebody who'd be like, oh, well, that's my twin flame. They ain't going nowhere. Bullshit. There's a thing called high level soulmates. Because, like I said, this person not moving forward, that's a choice. And the most high God is not going to make the other person suffer because this person can't make up their mind. So, yeah, they'll be sent in another soulmate. Come on now, people better start thinking about it. There's competition here, baby, five of one. And there's gonna come somebody gonna come along who is not afraid to do what this person's afraid to do. This person's afraid to open up and let new love in. Cause in y'all last reading, it was the Knight of Wands that came up. And the Knight of Wands, they are like they a go getter. They're very passionate and they just they just go. Cause somebody was overthinking something right here. If I can link y'all's last reading to this one, I will. But that's what I'm getting. Yep, seven of pentacles in the reverse. Something's not moving forward. There's not, no investments being made here. Damn. Because of the differences. Somebody's allowing a difference to stop them. <coughs> mm -hmm, to a sword. They just can't take that chance. You see that little moon? It's like this person, this is not a whole moon. This is like the little toenail, the little crescent. So they have, it's kind of what I was getting in Sag's reading with that Seven of Cups. So they have a lot of questions figured out. But since they don't know the full picture, somebody's not making a move. And that's what I'm seeing. Because they don't have the full information or whatever this is they're trying to figure out, they're not going to make a move. And so that person, they're going to get some type of offer coming in from something. Either another person or a job. Somebody's moving Six of Swords. Yeah, another love offer could be coming from a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the energy that was coming out in Sage's reading, too. Because I said somebody was sent to look into a situation, and the King of Swords is like an investigator or like a it's an authoritative figure. They seek to find the truth. And so, for some, this person is going to make an offer to the energy that this person was just watching. Could be a job offer, Eight of Pentacles. But it, it's going to end up in Two of Cups. Ooh. Damn. Somebody could be doing with a Gemini, too, with the lovers here. Or Capricorn. That's what I'm telling y'all. Go watch Capricorn's reading. Got Aquarius. Somebody's about to get an offer from a Gemini, an Aquarius, Capricorn, or a Sagittarius. Because the Knight of Cups is right here. After a long time of nothing moving, there's, I promise y'all, five of one is competition. So with the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, that means there's no investment being made. The Three of Cups in the reverse, that means motherfuckers is not reconciling or motherfuckers is not going to be celebrating. Something getting left out in the cold. Okay, what's that? It's judgment in the reverse. Who did this come up in? This came up in Sagittarius reading. Okay, listen. Sagittarius reading was like, it was two codependent motherfuckers. A man and a woman making harsh judgments against a Sagittarius, right? They even went to court. They were filing all these police reports. All kind of crazy shit, child. 
And in that reading, I said, this person realizes the truth, but it's too late because they did too much. And somebody who was sent to look into a situation ended up making an offer to Sag. So it was a job offer and a relationship, something like that. And that, that's what I'm getting here because this same card came up, judgment in the reverse. Well, it was judication in the reverse, but it's the same thing, judgment in the reverse, because they couldn't keep an open mind. The things that was different about this person, they started to judge them just to find out the truth. This page of Pentacles, I already said, that's discovery. That's learning something new. But by the time they learn something new, the other person is moving on. A man is coming in, man or woman, y'all. I see by the time this person who's watching learns this new information, another man comes in and moves this person and that child. It's the same one. Look, there's a woman with a child that this person's watching, right? Like I said, they ain't been moving. And so by the time they learn this new information, there's another man who comes in and grabs this woman and this child and moves them away from the chaos and conflict towards karma waters. And we see the lovers, the strength, the damn two of pentacles. And even in, in Sag's reading, because the strength card is having to um, restrain from something, having to resist something. And I was saying in Sag's Excuse me. I was saying in Sage's reading that somebody had to wait. So they've been wanting to do whatever this is that they're getting ready to do, but they had to wait on it, right? So y'all might want to go watch Sage's reading and Capricorn's reading. Or, you know, you don't have to be dealing with those signs. Something could have happened. So Sage's season is December. Aquarius' is re uh, season is January and Capricorn season is also December, December, January. Yeah. So that's that this shit could be happening now. Cause we finna be in Pisces season, right? So if you're not dealing with those signs, again, it's happening in those seasons. Something like that going on, y'all. Okay. So that there. Yep, and that was that energy, that three of one. Same motherfucker waiting, 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 waiting. Justice. Okay, somebody could be dealing with a Libra. But this justice in the upright is because some some kind of unfair judgment happened with the judgment in the reverse. And the scales got to be balanced. People going to receive their karma for whatever, whatever happened. Something happened or judgment wouldn't be in reverse. So, justice is coming through for those who was done wrong. I'll just put it like that. Because, again, I don't know who is who and what is what. All right. Let's look at... Because there's about to be an offer made to you. I want to see what that is. Investments. We already saw this person over here. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. They chose not to invest. Someone else is. Same shit I got for y'all last time. I said somebody was taking too much time. They was just energetically holding on to the person, trying to keep them from moving forward. And it had been a long time. And somebody else swooped in on their ass. And by then it was too late. Because this person moving on. This could be you. This could be this person. Or this could be someone else. But I do feel like there will not be the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, there will be no investment made. Three of Cups in the reverse, there won't be no um, reconciliation or no celebrations here because the Five of Wands, there is competition. There's also some chaos going on here too. Chaos and conflict. Somebody else gonna make this investment. Yep, somebody else. I, I can't listen. Bad, bad. Thank you, Spirit. This is crazy. This came out in Sage's reading, too. Earn money doing something that you love or a dream job going to be offered to you. I already said that we saw the Eight of Pentacles. That's what's going on here. So, Cancer... Maybe you have Sag in your chart because it's out here strong or Capricorn. 
Somebody could be getting a dream job where the person that's going to be offering them a job is also going to offer them a relationship. So control. Because remember this person over here, they couldn't keep an open mind. And this card says, don't lose out on the opportunity because it didn't come how you wanted it to. Because sometimes blessings come in disguise. Stay open-minded to see the potential. What the cards say? Keep an open mind. So somebody fucked up, basically. Somebody fucked it up. Okay? And so it says, and remember I said the justice is coming in because something unfair was done with the uh, judgment in the reverse. This card says some situation that needed resolution will be resolved and healed. That's this person finding out this new discovery or this new information. But by the time they figure this out, somebody else, is, they get to go ahead to move on or something like that, y'all. So, baby, y'all got to take that how it resonates. Yeah, persistence. So your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Success is just around the corner. Uh -huh. I told y'all last week, I said this person been having y'all waiting, but they ain't been doing that. I said somebody, they don't see this other person coming in. And the other person gonna come and swoop that, swoop somebody up. Yep, that's Ace of Swords. Yes. This says say yes. So somebody could even get proposed to. Some type of opportunity coming. And Spirit say say yes when it comes. Damn. Yeah, I can see somebody was lying. I say judgment in the reverse. Something unjustifiable happened. This is the seven of swords. Someone stealing, lying, being sneaky. Something like that. And that calls for this judgment in reverse. But something's being balanced out for someone. Somebody got done wrong in a situation. And they being done right. Because somebody was sent to look into something. See that magnifying glass? That I got another deck, and it has a magnifying glass over the legal department because some paperwork had been filed on a particular person where two people came together and lied. So, okay. So, yeah, somebody made a mistake. That's how they're going to be once they realize. The Seven of Pentacles is making, it's, it's, for some of you, it's making the wrong investment or not investing at all. Mistakes. A past mistake left somebody financially insecure and unsure of what to do. Well, we do have the Five of Pentacles right here. So, I don't know how this going to work out for y'all. But I feel like this is how this person going to be once they get this new information and realize where they should have went. They didn't go. And somebody else gonna come in. Somebody could be older. This man look like he older. Mm. I just heard somebody's boss. Somebody. So I may, maybe all y'all work together. Cause I was saying like this person coming to work. They've been watching you at work all this time, and then all of a sudden they come in one day and you gone, and somebody tells them that you got accepted a job. You know, you accepted a position somewhere else. Cause I just heard somebody's boss is making someone an offer. So this person that's watching you could work for somebody else. The person that they work for is making someone. This is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, unreliable. Again, seven of swords. People are not following through on their promises. All right. Um, something you've been working on will be very profitable. Okay. Maybe somebody left someone some money or someone could be getting into their humanitarian work, human rights, justice, or advocacy work. We do have the Aquarius card here. Aquarius is all about humanitarian in the high vibrational because there's a, a positive and a negative for every card in the deck, okay? So, baby, yeah, beware. Ooh, I told you, judgment in the reverse, some unjustifiable shit is going on. For some of you, this involves more than a damn uh, relationship. But anyway, it may be time to create or reach out to a network of people who will help you. 
I feel like, I honestly feel like the two people who, whoever's doing this unreliable, they're going to be stuck dealing with this chaos and conflict and this five of pentacles because the six of swords is moving away from the chaos and conflict. So somebody who was, whoever was done wrong or not being chosen or something like that, they moving away from the bullshit. And these people got the deal, or you, or them, whoever, they're going to be stuck here in this Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands with the devil. Rescue. I cannot make it up. I said, this man, look now. I said, this man is coming to get this woman and this child, moving them away. Those ripples in the water represent chaos and conflict. Moving them away from the chaos and conflict towards the calmer waters. What does this card say? Someone may enter your life and help you resolve any difficulties that you are experiencing. Some type of rescue association or something like that, y'all. Because of a judgment in the reverse. Something happened. Now, something from the past is coming back. Perhaps an old job or an unfinished project. Because I'm telling you, the same person, I really strongly feel, the same person that's offering somebody a job is also offering them a relationship. So, you're being asked to follow your instincts at this time when making business decisions. There's offers coming in to you. Uh, excuse me. There he go again. Oh, Lord, have mercy. He came out in Sagittarius Reed. What's behind his ass? Oh, this, <laughs> this could be the older man that I saw right here. For some of you, this is the person that's offering the job. But what I say, the same person that's offering the job is offering, a, there's going to be a relationship out of it. For a lot of y'all, it's going on at work. Because it's, it says perhaps it's time to clean house personally and professionally. All y'all might work together. And somebody's going to come in one day and they're going to be looking for the person. The person's going to be gone. Y'all, mm. Yep, options. I can't. Listen, somebody about to enter the most comfortable period of their life. Somebody from the, the, the helper card was behind that. Counselor. All right. Psych psychic work could be involved. But many opportunities are becoming available to you. And it says, do not get stuck in doubt when an offer presents itself. Seize the moment. Keep an open mind. So I don't know who I'm talking to at this point, but baby, then you got spirituality here. And I was picking up in, I think it was Capricorn's reading, I was picking up something with tarot. So it says you're being called to discover your own unique spiritual path at this time. Some of you guys may be called to become a spiritual advisor, a healer, or anything in the occult. Okay. Just know something's going to be healed, and this person who's taking too much time, it don't even matter because something better is coming in. That's what it look like. Okay? All right. Now, y'all know how these readings work. I put them, me and my spirit guys put the messages out, and, and y'all have to work with me. It's up to you to figure out who is who. But somebody will not be seven of pentacles in the reverse, three of cups in the reverse. Ain't shit happening. And so because this ain't happening, this is what it leads to. Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles. And then like, damn, as soon as they find out, somebody else is it's too late. I, I just got somebody's um, emotions are concealed. Like, okay. It's kind of giving. If all of y'all work together, let me tell you this. Come up behind that. Page of swords, three of swords, four of swords. It's kind of like this. If all y'all work, wherever y'all work at, right? All y'all can work together. Well, this person's watching you, okay? 
but they ain't made up their mind, so they're not doing anything. Their boss is also watching you, but the boss ain't letting that shit be known. That old man, they hiding that shit. And that's why this person is watching, feel like they got all the time in the world, but they really don't. And it's, it's like Mr. Steal Your Girl. Y'all, this is crazy. Somebody gonna swoop in, baby. And it's somebody gonna feel betrayed. I'm surprised the tennis swords didn't come out there. Somebody gonna feel like, what the fuck? They did not see that coming. Whatever's getting ready to happen, this person who's sitting there with their legs crossed, they didn't see that coming. But baby, it's coming. Okay. Let me get y'all an angel message spirit. Somebody could be an entrepreneur. Somebody could be a business owner. Ooh, release and surrender, power animal, and then the ocean. What's this? Yep, you've been giving a lot of yourself lately, and it's time to receive. There's some good shit coming in for you, baby. I got nothing but love for you, baby. Got nothing but love for you, baby. All right, what else, spirit? Fairies. A lot of you guys are highly connected with Mother Earth. All right, so we have manifestation power. Use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. Uh, like I was telling Capricorn, think of the things that you want. See yourself doing good in the situation. I don't give a fuck what's currently going on. See yourself doing good in it and manifest what it is that you want. Because some of y'all are very powerful with this manifestation gifts. Okay? Then you have this acceptance. And then Cupid. Yeah. Y'all, I'm nasty. Can't say what I'm getting. He blowing bubbles. <laughs> but anyway, see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels and with unconditional love and acceptance. All right. Um, like I told Capricorn, forgive. No, Sagittarius. Forgive what needs to be forgiven. Mend what needs to be mended. Because you don't want, yes, cancel, clear, and delete. You don't want anything holding you back from entering a new cycle in your life. Because when things are undealt with, they come back around. They come back up. So use only positive words and thoughts as they are rapidly manifesting into form. Ask the angels to clear, I'm sorry, to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. Whoever is stuck in their head with these negative thoughts, you need to let that go and replace it with something positive, okay? and sacral chakra you're highly sensitive to chemicals additives processed foods and energies right now respect your sensitivity by avoiding harsh items situations and relationships okay y'all what did you what did that say yep clear yourself i love y'all from the bottom of my feet both of them till next time bye